I've been reading that the brain is like a muscle. That's why getting over a death is so hard. In Good Grief, Dan Levy plays Mark, an artist whose husband dies unexpectedly. The script was inspired by Levy's real-life loss of his grandmother and dog during COVID and the difficulty of processing pain. I wanted to thank you both for this year. But it's also about the people we lean so. on and the depth of longtime friendships. Mark's best friends are played by Ruth Naga and Himesh Patel. When you guys first met, what was the quality you saw in one another where you were like, yeah, this is gonna work? <gasps> Let's start with Himesh. What was it about me, babe? <laughs> oh, uh, just joy and warmth yeah. and bundles of fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Filmed in London and Paris, the sets and scenery are simply gorgeous. The film, among many other things, was really kind of giving me Nancy Myers in certain ways. Like, I wanted to live in those oh, homes. I wanted to wear your clothes. Did you get any souvenirs? No, I didn't. I didn't actually. I know, and I texted Ruth after the movie was done being like, tell me you stole the jeans, <laughs> at the very least. <laughs> no. No. Maybe assumed I would do that. Well, I, I did. Somehow, someone snuck it into my bag. It was a program from Luke's funeral, from Oliver's oh, I've funeral. Got that. I, have, I, I have thought that. I thought that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on my desk at home is like the funeral program yeah. for all of us. So we've all got the grimmest yeah. souvenir yeah. possible. <laughs> the movie also stars Arnaud Valois, who convinces Mark to go on a date. Did you get to eat the French onion soup from that scene? Because it looks really good, I'm just gonna say. It's not. It's it's really not. It was, at the beginning, kind of a joke between Dan and I, and at the end, it was like, I'm not gonna eat that soup again. <laughs> He's not gonna eat an onion soup. Ever. Ever. A quiet, lovely dramedy. The film shows there's no correct way to grieve, but with time, we can learn how to heal. In the years since you all made this film together, what has really changed in your life in, in a way that represents growth and change? I guess I never thought I would make a movie. I never thought I would ever write a screenplay and I never thought that I would ever make a movie and here we are. So there's something to be said about never telling yourself that you can't do something because I think we're capable of a lot more than we give ourselves credit for. We love you. This is us loving you.